Hi, this is a demonstration of collision detection robotic vehicle using ARM Protect. So this is an uh, enhanced system that allows the user to operate a robotic vehicle using an Android device wirelessly. And also it has a collision detection feature that detects uh, obstacles ahead of it and the vehicle stops then and there and doesn't move ahead unless uh, the user provides another command and it still won't move in that direction where an obstacle was found it will move in any other direction that the command is provided in so for this purpose as you can see here we have an ARM Cortex board mounted on the circuit here the circuit also consists of an LCD display um, Bluetooth uh, receiver to receive commands from the Android device and uh, ultrasonic sensor for detecting uh, obstacles on the front and also the motors are connected to the circuit to move the robot in desired directions so you know this is a complete uh, system automated system that can run on user uh, commands as well as it has its own uh, you know logic for stopping on obstacles and uh, you know this system can operate uh, by user mode as well as uh, you know by using its own logic to stop uh, collision with obstacles so let's see how the system works let's turn on the system it is a battery operated system so once it is plugged it is turned on and on detecting obstacle the LCD display also displays the distance of the object before collision so now let's do one thing let's uh, connect this to our android app this is a free, free android app available online you can just download it from the link provided on our website so this is the android application we'll be using it's available for free download and the link is provided on our website you can just download it's an open source android app so now let's do one thing let's uh, connect it to our system so it's already connected so let's do one thing let's operate the vehicle in all four directions that is forward backward left and right and this is the stop button it will stop on this button and uh, you know let's now do one thing let's move it in forward direction and let's simulate an obstacle So let's simulate an obstacle here. So as you can see, when an obstacle is uh, you know encountered, it shows the distance of the obstacle on the LCD display and also stops the vehicle. And now it will wait for the user's command. It will may move in some other direction, but not the forward direction. As you can see. So this is how the system you know operates on user's commands as well as uh, has its own logic for stopping uh, when obstacle is disturbed to avoid any collisions.